Welcome to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In Mass Effect Andromeda, you are the Pathfinder, the ultimate adventurer in a vast, unexplored galaxy on a mission to find a new home for humanity. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? Our first video will take a look at weapons and skills. Andromeda's action is built around fluid, fast-paced third-person combat. Our combat offers amazing freedom of movement with the use of a jump jet that allows you to jump, evade, and even hover while you're fighting. You'll also notice a new dynamic cover system that allows you to seamlessly use almost anything, including your own vehicle, for cover. All this freedom allows you to approach the battle in a way that suits your gameplay style. Let's take a closer look at our weapons. In Mass Effect Andromeda, there are four categories of guns. Pistols, shotguns, and sniper and assault rifles, plus a range of melee weapons for up-close combat. All guns are available to every player. There are no class restrictions. So if you decide you want to try something new, it's as easy as switching your loadout. Guns and gear in Andromeda fall into three technology types based on where the tech comes from. Milky Way weapons typically use physical projectile ammunition that's similar to the types of weapons you might be familiar with from our original games, with some advancements, of course. These are high-impact projectile-based guns. They're great against most non-shielded targets, but require you to keep an eye on your ammo. Remnant weapons typically use beams, have a high rate of fire, and are extremely accurate. They use the overheat system and don't rely on ammo, so you'll never run out of ammo, but you'll have to wait for your gun to cool down from time to time. Helios weapons are technology from civilizations that live in the Helios cluster of Andromeda. They are generally plasma-based, which means they are slower speed, but benefit from heat-seeking technology. While some are charge-based, the longer you charge them before releasing, the harder they hit. Melee weapons vary in both damage and speed. Hard-hitting hammers do maximum damage. While lightning-fast shivs or swords allow you to get in and out of harm's way with maximum speed and precision. In addition to weapons, you can also develop skills and abilities. Like the weapons, there are no restrictions on what skills you can choose, and each of the three main categories is designed to facilitate a certain style of play. Combat skills are great if you want to focus on weapons, gear, and making your character the ultimate soldier. These skills focus on improving weapon damage and accuracy, as well as giving you the ability to use flat cannons, grenades, trip mines, and more. Tech skills allow you to equip your Pathfinder with more experimental weaponry, or focus on strategic improvements for you and your squad. Cryo Beam and Flamethrower give you more offensive punch, while skills like Invasion or Energy Drain weaken your opponents and make them easier to take down. Want a little extra help? deploy your own assault turret. Last but not least, biotics. By controlling dark energy, your Pathfinder can harness the power of mass and gravity. Biotic skills like pull and throw allow you to literally control the battlefield, using your enemies as a shield or even a weapon. Abilities like Annihilation Shield or Singularity can disrupt and damage anything or anyone caught up in their powerful grip. Each skill can be upgraded to become increasingly more devastating and effective. Each also has choices to make when upgrading offering you more ways to customize your playstyle. Now that we have the basics down, let's put this into action. In this case, our Pathfinder is equipped with a sniper rifle and a shotgun, and they've got their three powers selected. You'll notice that different enemies each behave in unique ways. Some will keep their distance and try to snipe us. Others will charge right in and try to flush us out of cover. Sticky Grenades is an advanced version of the Omni Grenade combat skill. They're effective against just about anything, but they have a limited supply. Enemies each have different strengths and weaknesses. For most, headshots inflict maximum damage, but you'll need to pay attention to their health bars. Yellow means they've got armor and won't be as susceptible to certain weapons and powers. Blue means they're shielded, and in addition to being more resistant to biotics, you'll generally need to deal with those shields before their health goes down. And just like you, their shields will recharge if you don't finish them off quickly. Tactical Cloak is a tech skill that allows you to evade enemy detection and inflict increased damage when attacking from Cloak. And finally, Overload, another tech skill that's great for taking out enemy shields and synthetic enemies. By holding it before releasing, you can even chain it to multiple enemies. And this is just one of the hundreds of combinations of weapons and skills you can try in Andromeda. Stay tuned for future installments where we'll show you our profiles to give you an added boost in combat, favorites which allow you immediate access to your sets of power so you can change up on the fly, and squad skills and commands. Take cover! Take cover!
Andromeda Initiative. Six recruits have been selected to navigate the unexplored reaches of the Andromeda Galaxy. Before they take off, they will have to find out what it means to be Pathfinders. To be weightless and fearless. One team of pioneers, skilled astronauts and bold explorers. Three days of challenging training at the European Astronaut Center. Two squads and one goal. Become the Pathfinder. in Andromeda. Though our long-range scans have provided a map, there are no guarantees on a voyage that will take us 2.5 million light-years away from home. That's where the Pathfinder team comes in. My name is Cora Harper, second in command on the human Pathfinder team. It's our job to find and secure potential golden worlds, identify settlement sites, and start the process of building our new home. We act under our own authority and represent the tip of the spear in Andromeda. Every arc has its own team, and every team has its own pathfinder. Senior mission officers, experts in survival, diplomacy, and if that fails, combat. Our Pathfinder on Ark Hyperion is Alec Ryder, whose pioneering service history speaks for itself. A skilled soldier with N7 ranking and a talented scientist, Ryder was a member of the original task force who traveled through the Charon Mass Relay and took humanity's first steps across the galaxy. Now, he's preparing us to tackle the next great frontier, Andromeda. Liam specializes in crisis response, Every team needs its idealist, and Liam is ours. Sarah and Scott Ryder are Pathfinder's son and daughter and former Alliance recruits fresh off tours with the Arctura Station Outpost and Prothean Artifacts team, respectively. And myself, Lieutenant Cora Harper. To be brief, I'm a biotic, the team's operations specialist in charge of ground missions, and I spent the last four years serving alongside Asari Commandos. And finally, our last team member, Sam. Short for Simulated Adaptive Matrix, Sam is an artificial intelligence designed by our Pathfinder himself. From his node in the Ark, Sam receives a direct feed of the Pathfinder's sensory input via a neural implant. It sees and feels as Ryder does, providing him advanced situational awareness, problem solving, and even tactical enhancements. All members of the Pathfinder team receive implants, allowing them to communicate directly with Sam. The individuals who make up this team are everything the Andromeda Initiative represents. A chance for the bravest and the brightest to come together for something bigger than ourselves. If you have what it takes to join us, we'll make sure there's a bunk on the Tempest with your name on it. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. When the power runs out, stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. Shuttle 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. All stop, now! Oh my god. Get us out of here. They've got us pinned against the skirt. I am Arkham. Surrender or burn. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We're explorers. Not an army. Sure, we've been outplayed. The Archon is a master of his game. 
We're about to change the rules. He's a human from another galaxy, a Pathfinder. <laughs> I don't need an army. I've got a Krogan. Go right, it'll be fun. This is exactly why we came. Covers blown, run! They want to fight? We'll give it to them! They're breaking! Keep it up! Been waiting 600 years for this. Sam related the Tempest that we're stranded, but alive. No choice but to investigate PB's signal. Pathfinder, this console controls the gate. Mass Effect Andromeda is the next generation of action RPG. Yeah, no way this is home. Brand new epic sci-fi adventure set in a vast explorable galaxy. You are the Pathfinder, part explorer, part soldier, part guide. And it's your mission to find a new home for humanity. But in Andromeda, resources are scarce, worlds are hazardous or outright uninhabitable. Every planet has its own story. On this one, warring outlaw factions fight over every available scrap. You can make new allies or enemies. The choice is yours. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. All I see is the trail of bodies they left behind. Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. What brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Just point me to where you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. There won't be. Drop it, now! You first. Get out, or I'll put you down. These worlds are big, so for the sake of time, we're gonna speed up our adventure. There are many paths to follow on this planet, and you'll need everything at your disposal to survive. Whether it's a six-wheel drive nomad, which protects you from hazards and enemies, or the scanning and analysis tools to help you interpret everything you discover. Look for anything that might lead us to the killer. The tracks make it look like an ambush. 
fits the Rokar profile. It's a start. And Garn blood. Matches your Rokar theory, Reyes. Keep scanning. We need hard evidence. In a dangerous alien galaxy desperate for resources, conflict is inevitable. But you'll have access to futuristic weapons, gear, and powers to help you in your fight for a new home. you start out with a ship and the Nomad, almost everything else you need, you'll have to find, steal, or craft yourself. And that's critical to your survival. These worlds have many dangers, from environmental hazards to hostile wildlife. galaxy awaits. How far will you go? Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Flynn, General Manager here at BioWare. I'm excited to show you a glimpse of how Mass Effect Andromeda is taking the power of Frostbite to new heights on the Sony PlayStation Neo platform. Before we get started, if you're not watching this in a 4K screen, find one and come back. Our game is going to look fantastic on whatever platform you choose to play on but this video is meant to be experienced in 4K. 4K allows the game to take on new levels of depth, making Mass Effect more immersive than ever. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. What you're seeing here is a very small slice of the game in development. Everything here is in-game, captured directly from a PlayStation Neo during pre-alpha. We selected this segment specifically to showcase some of the ways that Neo will bring our environments and characters to life like never before. More remnant. Remember, they don't turn nasty unless you get too close. Beyond higher resolutions, we will offer high dynamic range lighting on supported platforms. That means every detail will come to life with a sense of depth, richness, and realism that simply hasn't been possible in the past. Will you look at that? Wow, I really was just scratching the surface. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating. Something. Must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. We leave you now with a cutscene where you can really see our characters up close. Be sure to tune in on November 7th when we'll premiere our brand new trailer and officially open the doors to the next chapter of the Mass Effect universe. Is that the Helios Cluster? Yeah, there we are. 
All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Hey, look there. The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. Congratulations on your successful acceptance into the Andromeda Initiative. My name is Jian Garson, the founder of this unprecedented mission. This journey is a major milestone for all of humanity, as well as every other species in the Milky Way galaxy. You are about to embark on a voyage unlike anything attempted before. And make no mistake, this is a one-way trip. 600 years from now, you will awake from cryostasis on the outskirts of the Andromeda Galaxy. Most of you will be aboard Ark Hyperion, while the rest will travel on the Nexus with me. In addition to Hyperion, three other Arcs, each harboring a separate species, will depart the Milky Way at the same time. Each Arc will be assigned its own Pathfinder, a blend of elite soldier, scientist, and guide who will be tasked with finding a new home on one of the golden worlds that our long-range sensors have identified within Andromeda's Helios Cluster. Over the coming months, you will be briefed on a selection of classified information, all of which will be critical to your success. Arcs and Nexus overviews, ground and space vehicle certification, outpost establishment guidelines, First contact protocols should we encounter new sapient life forms. In addition, those accepted onto the Pathfinder team will also receive weapons, biotics, and survival training for even the harshest environments. You represent some of the best humanity has to offer, and I again salute your bravery in accepting this mission. There are no guarantees, no certainties, but if successful, we have a chance to do the impossible and create a new future for all humanity. Begin your journey. We slept for hundreds of years. Dreaming of a new home. But when we finally awoke, our dreams of peace were shattered. Welcome back. You're the new Pathfinder. This is incredible. It's acting like a gravity well. I have a bad feeling. We're the aliens. My god. This path began a long time ago. A course paved through human history that took us across continents, oceans, and ultimately, to the stars. For us, this planet is home. It's protected us, challenged us, and provided us the foundation to become galactic citizens. But the time has come to prepare ourselves for a future beyond the Milky Way. A future that begins 600 years from where we stand, in a time and place among unknown stars and unseen dangers. 
And so we issue this call to the brave, the inquisitive, to the trailblazers of the human race, as an invitation to stand on the shoulders of those who came before and challenge yourself to go further. Begin your journey. Join the Andromeda Initiative today. Our survival as a species has always depended on our drive to seek out the undiscovered, push beyond our limits, and expand the boundaries of our known world. With Mass Effect, we are going further than ever before. To Andromeda, to build a new home for humanity. Imagine distant star systems with remote and hostile planets. Teeming with alien life and civilizations. Worlds where adventure, danger, and the unknown are waiting to be discovered. We've created a universe that you will lose yourself in. A whole new galaxy for you to explore. We are travelers, constantly moving forward and looking back. Alone and as one. We have no choice but to try for our insatiable curiosity for our fear of what should happen if we don't. You are that explorer now. We will say goodbye, and you will look back one last time, and know that wherever you go, we will be with you. This is Commander Shepard, signing off.